start feet together. All right, hands on the hip. And we're stepping out, it doesn't matter whether I step out to the left, so we're about shoulder width, and then we're going to start doing this side stance. Side stance. Now, so remember, I'm pivoting on the ball of the foot, whether it's the front of the ball of the foot, right? And I, I think I talked last week about how this is called the monkey, because this is like the, the monkey part. But then there's also the one that's a little more, you know, like kung fu y with the foot flat, and that's going to be the back of the ball of the foot. When you're doing monkey full work, it's the front of the ball of the foot, so it's a lot like kickboxing and, you know, and boxing. The other thing is the crane, which is a little more flat, but it's... Now, the other thing also is, as you turn, you want to feel... I know this looks like I'm doing something fucking dirty, but I want to feel that crease as I'm going in. I mean, it had to be a little bit dirty. You want to feel your nuts kind of smack against your thigh. Right, because it's not this. Right? See how it's all the way in? Almost also like I'm stretching the outside of my hip as I'm going in. Can you guys feel this what I'm talking about? Yeah. The next thing is use your arms to make sure that if I was looking at you from the ceiling down, I would see a cross because my legs are this way and my arms are, you know, if I'm standing east and west, my legs are on east and west and my arms are north to south. Okay, this way I know that it's gonna help me get that turn into my thigh. It's also gonna make sure that my shoulders are turning all the way. This is sub cheek, okay? This is sub cheek, cross pattern. Very important concept. So if my feet are here, right? My punch is here. And when I do the full, I mean my arms are here, right? You see that, see what I'm talking about that? Yes. Even when I do stuff like uppercuts, right? See how I'm still in the sub chain? A little bit overhand. Now, this is this thing, right? Classical overhand was right on the sub chain. Chante San, based upon his actual fighting experience, changed it a little bit, and we started doing this on the 45, which is a little bit different. But again, this, this concept is still really important, and especially for straight punches, really important. My arms are east and west. Okay? Right? I'm just having you focus on the actual punching one, so I'm kind of just leaving it down here. But if, we don't do this ever, usually, because no reason for this. I mean, obviously, I could be doing it boxing style. In the old days, we did it with the arm extended back, because again, we're trying to get this cross pattern, and we're also trying to teach you that you're not punching here, right, you're punching here. You see the difference? So by doing this, just like, you know, you want to feel your, your nuts hitting your thigh, this is going to help you get um, Egypt, stand at the top of the, so, in other words, if I'm here, some people, like I said, I said this last week, they're punching on, on this, but that's wrong. I'm still punching down the middle, down the middle. You see what I'm saying? There's still a triangle, but I'm still using the center one. And I'm going to talk about why this is important when I talk about how we use this. We were talking about, I were talking about this. It's not just a hit. It's also a block, right? Because there's he goes to hit me. Well, this is also both a hit and a block. You start, I'm oh, sorry, we'll just You should start with chuns. Right? Start doing chuns with extending your arm behind you just to feel the turning. And then start doing being chun. Being chun. Being chun. And this is also, I mean, this is how I built even the kickboxing that we do and the sancho that we do. Because Looks like boxing, it's got gloves on, you got a thing, but people always ask, why do you hit so hard? It's because we build it on these principles. Right? Because if I'm in this stance, or this stance, it looks like a boxing stance, but I'm still not just doing this. When I do, like some people jab just like this. We jab. You know what I'm saying? And it's that same turn your hips and shoulders, it's that same, and again, some people jab and they're just 
you know, jab cross, and they're doing it on these lines because they just don't know any better. Because we stress the center from the nose in, street from the nose in, and turning. Yeah, I mean, it's, in one way it's jab and cross, but in another way it's totally chun chun. Right? And that's what makes the difference. It's not just two straight punches, it's two straight punches originating from the center line, following the center line, but specifically chosen to hit, and with the hips and the shoulders, and also the very idea of chun, which means penetrate. It's not a punch that's here, it's a punch that's designed really to come out his back and go like another three or four inches. That's what I, I don't, I don't think about punching his face, I think about punching out the back of his skull. So I'm not just doing this stuff, right? Even my jab is in. My cross is not here, it's to go here. Okay? This is, I'm not turned all the way. This is unturned all the way. Okay? Look at my head. I don't know if you can get a close up of my head. A lot of people think, well, yeah, I'm using my head to show it, right? Right? It's not horrible. But I want total use of my hips and shoulders, right? So it's not just hitting you, but I'm up here. I want to get here. And I get that like that. Turn. Turn. So these are shoulders. Same side stance. Hips and shoulders turning. But again, I'm not coming here, here. They're all, see, down the middle. Down the middle. You have that triangle, but it's still down the middle. 